I will completely and totally admit to being a huge fan of the PlayStation 5. I know, you still can't get your hands on one. I was lucky enough to get one on launch day. I love the way the games look on them. MLB The Show looks beautiful on here. Ratchet & Clank, my nominee for Game of the Year. Granted, I haven't had time to play a lot of games this year, but it's one of those things that I love my experiences with the PlayStation 5 except for one area, and this actually goes back to the PlayStation 3 and the PlayStation 4. If I ever wanna play my PlayStation 5 and not use the built-in speakers in my TV or my soundbar, I'd have to invest almost $100 in a set of Pulse 3D headphones if I wanna go wireless. Otherwise, in the DualSense controller, it does have a headphone jack built into it. Well, I don't wanna be tethered to my controller like that. And now there is a solution for that that quite honestly will allow you to use just about any Bluetooth headphones. Hey everybody, Gary here from Rock Solid Productions. Thanks for stopping by and checking out what we have going here today. I really do appreciate it. And what I wanna know from you down in the comments, What's your Bluetooth headphone of choice? I actually, for the past couple of years, this isn't sponsored, this isn't something, they don't pay me to say this. I've been using Raycons. Um, I had the original E50s. I recently upgraded to the E55s. I like the way they sound. I like the way that, you know, very rich as far as the bass and everything without being boomy, very full sound on it. And it doesn't look like, well, that scene from There's Something About Mary where, oh, You've got hair gel, can I borrow that? Is that, is that a hair gel? Yeah, that's what the AirPods always look like to me. So the folks from Uber with sent us this guy here. This is a wireless Bluetooth audio adapter designed for the PlayStation 5. And what it promises to do is allow us to plug into our PS5 controller, whether we're talking about the digital one or the physical one like what I have here, and then pair to any Bluetooth controller. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna throw this on the bench, we're gonna see how it comes out of the box, how well the fitment is on the controller itself. We're gonna pair it to some headphones and to a Bluetooth speaker. Let's go get started. So here we have the Uber with wireless audio adapter for, again, P5. I don't know why so many of these companies do this where they call it the P5 versus the PS5. It's just, it's dumb. There's pretty much, it's a nondescript box is, is the best way that I can describe it. Now they did send this to me for the purposes of review, um, but they are not reviewing this content before this goes live. So what do we have here? We have the unit itself, whoop. And uh, I mean, nothing really huge on it. You've got your pairing button volume up and down. Looks like that's a mute button right there. Let's give you a closer look. So out of the box from left to right, you have a mute button, a pairing button, volume up and down. Has just a standard headphone jack in the center there. Uh, nothing really on the back. And it does include a USB-A to USB-C cable too. It does come with just a real basic instruction manual. So again, it says, you know, mute pair. There's an LED indicator, volume up, volume down on it. Uh, looking on the inside, power on off, press the pair button for three seconds to power it on. The red and blue LED indicator starts flashing to enter the pairing mode. Uh, press pairing button lasting five seconds to power off. LED indicators will shut off. Uh, to pair it, uh, power on the adapter, red and blue indicator starts to flash. Turn on your Bluetooth headset device, make it in pairing state. Uh, for AirPods, it gives you a specific direction for that. The adapter automatically connects to Bluetooth headset successfully within 10 seconds. LED turns to always blue. Plug in the adapter into the PS5 original controller. Reconnect, um, and it does have built-in uh, voice chat, it looks like. Built-in microphone of the PS5 controller is excellent. This adapter will not transfer the microphone to the Bluetooth headset. You use the microphone on the controller, so that is important to note. And again, you do have the, the mute volume adjustment, a, stand a standby. It does have a charger and battery, uh, input power rating, five volt, one amp, battery type, built-in rechargeable, lithium ion battery. So this does have its own separate battery and power supply in there. I was not expecting that, so uh, good to know. One of the nice things about that too is the fact that it will not negatively affect the battery life on your DualSense controller. All right, so checking this out, don't turn it on, you just hold down the pairing button for three seconds. 
Mm, not seeing anything. LED indicator should... Oh, there it is. It is actually on the parent. It's very hard to see. Let's see if I can zoom you in here. There you can see the LED is going back and forth between blue and red, so good to see that. Now, my initial pairing, as dumb as it looks, I'm actually going to pair it to my Mario speaker, so that way you can hear what it sounds like. All right, so LED here is solid. The LED on the Bluetooth uh, adapter is solid, so we're going to plug it into our uh, PS5 DualSense controller. So I can already hear the sound coming out of Mario. It's fairly quiet. And as you saw in the intro, I actually had MLB the show going. The demo is actually going in the background. Let's turn them up. So not very loud here on Mario, but he generally isn't very loud directly. And I can change the, the volume on the PS5 as well, but coming out perfectly. Um, next, I want to just test it out. I'm going to turn everything off and I'm gonna pair it to my Raycons. And the reason why I wanted to have it come through the Mario speaker was so, well, you can hear what it sounds like, or at least see and hear the fact that it is paired. And for the money, quite honestly, the Mario speaker, eh, it's okay, it's a novelty. So now we are back in pairing mode here, so I'm gonna pull out my Raycons. Put it in my ear, and this is one of those things that I mean, you won't unfortunately be able to hear. And just like that, it paired. God, that sounds so good. Much better. So I've got the volume turned up on the PS5 uh, to full blast. Oh yeah, that definitely makes a huge difference. I I won't say, and I'm probably talking loud right now. I won't say that it is earth-shattering sound, but it's quality sound. It is loud. Um, I don't know that I would comfortably want it to be any louder. And as you saw, I just took this out of the box, plugged it in, and it's working. Uh, I did not pre-charge this battery or anything built into this at all. I do like the fact that it does have that pass-through there uh, where I can go ahead and charge this right on here. I don't think that'll charge the controller though. Now one final curious thing, and unfortunately I don't think I can test out at this time, my controller is fully charged, so even if I plug in the power supply up top, the lights on the controller don't pop up to show me that it is charging. Uh, but if I go ahead and I connect it down below here, I do get a red LED indicating that it's charging. So um, I have to say the overall fitment, I mean, I like the fact that it's not in the way of anything else. I mean, I, that was one of the concerns that I had. Um, and it could be maybe a hair narrower here, but above and beyond that, it doesn't really interrupt or interfere with anything else that is on the controller itself. Um, I don't know why it has the little hole, uh, maybe for this, does that go over the, the microphone basically? Yeah, that basically is to go into the microphone or over the microphone itself built into the controller. Um, volume is good. My system volume was a little bit low. Once I turned that up, everything worked great. So uh, definitely something I really, really dig. So what do I think of the Uber with Bluetooth adapter for the PS5? Well, first and foremost, I love the fact that it's 30 bucks, at least at the time of this recording, it's only $29.99 versus three times and more that cost for the Pulse 3D headphones. And the nice thing is then I can use my daily drivers. I love my Raycons. I think they sound great. They are just, they're comfortable. And like I mentioned, I don't look like I've got crap hanging out of my ear and this works with it now one of the things i wish that it did is allowed me to use the built-in microphone on these because yes the microphone on here pretty decent but i'd still like to have something a little bit closer to my mouth and i do like using this when i am on hands-free calls they do work pretty well uh, the volume on here worked very well one of the things i didn't realize initially was that i had the volume down on my playstation 5 in the control 
center itself. I raise that the volume much, much better. Uh, it doesn't interfere with button presses. It basically stays mostly out of the way. I do wish it was a little bit narrower, but above and beyond that, the size and everything is pretty good. The buttons are well labeled. I kind of wish that they had maybe a little bit of a tactile feature on the top of them, kind of like what you'll find on a keyboard so you can center yourself on there. Um, so you don't have to look down to raise the volume or lower the volume or, or turn it on or off. Uh, but overall, I mean, well thought out, well designed. Unfortunately, like I mentioned during the unboxing part of it, my controller is almost vir uh, virtually fully charged, so I don't know, and I don't believe that this will pass through charge. Looking at the uh, underside of it here, there's no contacts to make contact with the bottom of the controller, so I don't believe that this will do anything when you do have it hooked up to charge, except for charge the actual unit. Now, I was surprised that this doesn't draw power off of the controller. That's a good thing and a bad thing. It doesn't reduce your overall play time. I know a lot of people, Gabo for one from the Pixel Game Squad, doesn't like the battery life on the DualSense 5 controller. I haven't had an issue, but the fact that this has its own separate battery, it won't wear down or discharge the battery in your DualSense controller even faster. Now for me, because I do have this charging stand here that I use and I love and it works great and all I have to do to charge the controller is set it on here. Anytime that I am going to charge the controller, I do have to remove the dongle. Minor deal there. But these are just my opinions. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section. Is this something that you would consider picking up? Have you picked up a set of headphones for your PlayStation 5? Have you done the, the Pulse 3Ds? I haven't used them, I haven't tried them. I've had some of, like I had the 20th anniversary gold headphones for the PS3 or 4, I can't remember what it was. I think it was PS4. And those did sound amazing. I hated the fact that I had to have a dongle in the front or back of my system. Actually, it would have been the front of my PS4. Um, it's one of those things, Bluetooth is built into the system. Sony, just let us pair our headphones. I mean, Nintendo just allowed us to do that on the Switch finally after three and a half years. Come on, Sony. Let me know what you think down in the comment section. Also, if you've got any other comments or questions, as always, feel free to email me at rocksolidmail at gmail.com. You can send me a message on Twitter at rocksolidstudios. We are on Facebook at facebook.com slash rocksolidproductions and Instagram at instagram.com slash rocksolidproductionsgk. Now, if you are looking for any other parts and pieces and accessories for the PS5, for the Xbox, for the Nintendo Switch, modern and retro systems as well, do me a favor, head on over to castlemaniagames.com. The wonderful thing over there is that he has first run games for modern systems over there along with parts pieces and accessories for modern and retro games and the best thing is if you use promo code rocksolid10 you can save 10 percent off of most items on the website now as far as the uber with bluetooth adapter if you do want to pick one of these up i will have a link down below to our amazon affiliate page where you can go ahead and pick these up and like i said about 30 bucks is what you're looking for these guys right now too. Now, that link, no discounts or anything like that. It does actually help support the channel though. Now, if you are looking for any other videos on the PlayStation 5, our initial setup, our unboxing, how to go ahead and fine tune the controls so that you can invert the look and more, we have videos coming up on this right now. Thank you for watching this video. If you would like to support the future of Rock Solid Productions, you can do so by visiting our Patreon page at patreon.com slash rocksolid. For as little as a dollar a month, $12 a year, you'll get early access to all of our video content, exclusive content, and a whole lot more. You can also become a channel member here on YouTube for as little as $1.99 a month. And with that, you get a badge next to your name when you comment or post on the channel, and you are acknowledged whether you are a channel member or a Patreon supporter at the end of each and every one of our videos. You can also support the channel by visiting our Teespring store on screen now, where we have t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, masks, cell phone cases, and much more. Again, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you soon.